wanted to welcome everybody to Sebastian Inlet State Park. This is a state park located directly off um, Highway A1A, and it is at the southernmost point of Brevard County. I think it connects Brevard County to um, Indian River County. I think on this side it is Brevard County. I'm not 100% sure, but I know on that side it's Indian River. And you can access this uh, park by heading down A1A or up north A1A, depending on where you're heading. To access the park, you have to go through the, um, the gate, which is $8 per vehicle with up to four people in it. And, um, you know, if you're walking or something, I think they charge $2 per person if you're on your bike or whatever. Now, if you actually park further up the down that way from the, the state park itself or up north this way away from the park itself, you can get in for free, but if you want to bring your vehicle up here, it's eight dollars. We are on the north side. That side over there is the south side of the park, and you can see there's a uh, trailer there for camping because they do allow camping on that side. So, if you're planning on camping, check out the south side of the um, state park. And if you're just wanting to hang out and look around, the north side has some really cool features. Thought you guys might enjoy a view from the north side of the um, inlet. We have walked around the corner and uh, we're currently heading west towards the, um, the river side. And that river up there, where it opens up up there, that river, I think it's the Indian River. On the other banks over there, is the camping area for Sebastian Inlet. You can um, pull up and go down there and then show them your ticket that you paid for up here and you can camp out there overnight. So this is Sebastian Inlet. See you at um, Sebastian Inlet is a tortoise and here's one right now she's munching away not even afraid of humans although he's cautious because I'm here he stopped eating to decide if he can keep eating or not guess when I leave him alone he'll continue eating but he's uh he is actually kind of paying attention to me right now but he is a protected species it says deter disturbance by humans or pets is prohibited per Florida administrative code whatever <laughs> so we are going to be looking around Sebastian Inlet, and we have parked by the bike path over here. So this is um, a park that you may want to come by here with your family. It's um, $8 for a vehicle. I think you can have up to four people in your vehicle. Oh, butterfly. A little butterfly. A little butterfly fluttering by. Hello, butterfly. Hello, butterfly. Apparently, these turtles are all over the place. This is a smaller one. See? It's a very small little turtle. And butterflies. It's a beautiful park. With lots of picnic area. And you can have barbecues here. They have um, a bathroom and shower on this side over here. We are on the north side of the, um, the inlet. And there is a building here for visitor center with gift shop and whatnot. It's the restaurant and gift shop right here. Once you uh, pass the um, main area for the shower and the bathrooms, you come upon this section here that leads you out to the beach side. There's a little walkway. Take you right out to the beach. Where'd you go? There are showers available just off the boardwalk. So if you're a van dweller, woohoo, free showers. And the beach itself 
has the inlet right there that you can go out on and a beautiful beach which apparently today has a bunch of people out here on their boats Over on this side of the uh, boardwalk is the gift shop, which they just built recently. It's very big and nice. And I think there's a restaurant here too, so you can order food to eat. So they have to turn off their lights at certain times and not have it so bright to make sure the turtles know where the ocean is and don't head towards the land. Once we go past the gift shop, um, heading southbound, you can see that we have a bait and tackle shop right here, as well as the um, inlet itself. So this is the Sebastian Inlet. That bridge that you're looking at right there, that is A1A. And the inlet state park is actually split into two sections. It's got a north section, which is where we're at right here which has the little beach, I mean it has like a little cove area where you can play in the sand and the water, walk around in it. And out on this way it's got the pier, or the jetty, I think it's a jetty. This jetty looks new, I think they just put this up recently. It used to be kind of just rocks, but now they have actual walls here. And um, right around there is a beach access where we were a moment ago. On the other side, the south side, is also a really nice beach. And this is pretty much the um, Sebastian Inlet. Here then is what actually makes this inlet um, really cool. Sebastian Inlet is the inlet itself when you come in here. You can come out here and um, go crabbing out here. As well as um, come walk into the, uh, the water. It's a little rocky here, so I make sure I don't fall. But this is what makes the place special. You got all this water that you can. Um, it's kind of empty right now because this is a actually this is a Sunday. Usually it's pretty busy on the weekend, so maybe because it's cooler. But the water will come up here, and people play in it and float and whatnot. You can see people sitting out there just kind of relaxing. But this is the inlet. Here is the uh, North Beach access side of Sebastian Inlet State Park. See somebody there being pulled. Sand here is uh, quite soft. And you can see some surfers out there. If the camera focuses. 